What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about the Bitcoin ETFs and why I believe they're not going to get approved. Um, and they're, they're going to get denied is, is what I think. And uh, I want to, you know, I made another, I made a video about this not too long ago, but got a lot of new subscribers, you know, and it's, it's a hot topic. So I figured I might as well throw my two cents in it again. Um, I don't think they're going to get approved. And I think that before the news actually comes out, if they get approved or not, we can see it in the price as to what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you the secret sauce right now to watch, to, to be aware of what the news is going to be before the news is even actually um, brought out. If the ETF is going to get approved, from now until like the end of the first week of January, we're going to see the price of Bitcoin and most cryptos and crypto mining stocks go up. That's what we're going to see. The ETF comes out and then the, the old buy the rumor, sell the news event, it's going to come. So when, when the, the news comes out that it's approved, we would dump afterwards. Dump, move down, correct a little bit. It might, it might not be like a dramatic dump, but we would cease moving up. Once we have the good news, we sell the news and we, we go down. It's a very common maneuver. The reverse is true if we get denied. Instead of going up leading to the announcement, we'll be going down and then we'll get the negative news. That, that it got denied. And guess what's going to happen with the price? It's not going to go down more. It's going to go up or it's going to move sideways and consolidate and then move up. But it's going to, if it moves down after the announcement, it's going to be that day and that's it. And it won't be nearly as much as what we're going to do over the next week and a half. Because right now it's December 29th. By the time most of you see this, it's going to be December 30th, which means we have, we have, I mean, really it's the weekend, right? The 30th is Saturday. 31st is Sunday, Monday is the first, so that's three days off in a row. And the announcement for the ETF being approved or denied is on the 10th of January, right? It's the 10th or the 9th, I think it's the 10th. Oftentimes, and, and I've been in this space for a while now, guys, I've been in this space since 2017, and this is not the first round of ETFs that they've tried to approve and have gotten pushed back and denied. It's not the first time that we've seen headlines say, 99% likelihood that the ETFs will get approved. We have an 80%, we have a 90%, we have a 99%. Who cares what these experts or whoever they are on online are saying? The media is meant to, to manipulate you, man. It's meant, somebody paid somebody to produce that story. You think they produce it because they want to help you or because they want to get views? They want to get attention. They want you to believe a narrative. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, um, and I am just saying, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But, but what I'm trying to say is that we're probably going to see price move down over the next week, right? Monday, the first, is already a, a day that's gone. So we have four days left in that week. We have like the fifth and then the sixth, seventh. So it would be the middle of the second week in January that we would have the announcement. Now the announcement's supposed to happen, it's required to happen uh, by the 10th of January, by the 10th. I believe it's by the 10th. And historically speaking, they've never waited till the last day to do their announcement. They do it, they do it a few days before, right? So, so we might see the ending of the first week of January. It might be the 5th of January that we get this announcement. They like to do it on Tuesdays. Maybe it's that following Tuesday. Maybe it's maybe it's the 2nd of January that we get this announcement. But I do think that leading up to the announcement, we are going to see some price action move down. And and that will tell us, that'll let us know that, we, that, that the ETFs are getting denied. And the reason for this is they've already made up their minds. They're not going to magically make up their minds on the 10th, on the 9th, on the 8th, whenever they come out with the announcement. They're not going to magically make up their minds then. They, they already know what decision they're going with. They have all the legal framework there. And they're going, you know, you know they're, they're, they're people, they're human beings. They have people that they know and that they love who are involved with crypto or are involved with mining stocks, are involved with the Grayscale Trusts. And... By the way, when I'm talking about price going down, I'm talking about it going down for all these, not not just for Bitcoin, for all these, because Bitcoin inadvertently or inadvertently directly correlates to like mining stocks most of the time. Most of the mining stocks are fairly correlated to Bitcoin's price action um, for most of the time. And the Grayscale Trusts themselves are also pretty correlated to the overall direction of the market itself, too. Um, and man, what was I saying? I'm getting, I'm getting off topic. Um... I don't remember what I was saying. Ah, oh, rats, man. 
I was on a good train of thought and I got I got distracted. It's it's my bedtime, man. I'm supposed to go to bed. But enough about me. What I'm trying to say, guys, is I do believe that the ETFs are going to get denied. We're going to see the prices moving down leading into the announcement. And then by the time the announcement happens, price is going to stop moving down. And why am I making this bold claim, this bold call? Like, how, how do I know this? Do I have a script? Did I call Gary Gensler? Gary Gensler, Gary Gensler is my uncle, guys. He gave me insider information. Oh, now I know what now now I know what I was saying. He's not my uncle. He didn't give me insider. I don't have any insider information. I have experience, is what I have. But the people that have made their their mind up already on if the ETF is going to get denied or approved, they already know. They've told their friends and family. Those people have told people, you know, and like that. That's where insider trading, insider knowledge. It's illegal, but it happens. Okay, if if you don't believe insider knowledge happens, like, or insider trading happens, like, people get caught. And then it's illegal, but whenever they don't get caught, it, it happens all the time, man. And right now, again, further leading to the idea of this insider information, watch us, just to prove what I'm saying is true, watch us drop coming into the announcement. If we were to drop in price and then get announced that the ETF is getting approved, I would be thrown for a whirlwind. I really would be. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think, I think we're going to get, again, this is how you're going to know the news. I've said it so many times. I'm going to just say it one more time to close out the video with. You're going to know that the ETFs will be denied when the weeks leading up to it, which we're in right now, the price goes down. You're going to know it's going to get approved when the price goes up in the weeks leading up to it. And either way, you buy the hype, you sell the news. Well, if, if it's going down, you sell the hype, you buy the news. If it's going up, you buy the hype, you sell the news, okay? And the reason that I know that price is going to go, it's going to stop moving down after we get the ETFs denied is because I've done this before. I've seen this before. We've been through this before where multiple ETFs that were supposed to get approved and make the crypto bull market skyrocket, they got denied and we stopped moving lower. We stopped. We literally put it on a halt. We consolidated for a second. We like inched a little bit lower but didn't really go lower. We had the negative news and no negative follow through. And then not shortly after, like days or like less than a week, we started to move up again with a very nice recovery. Because why? Because we don't need the ETFs to move up higher, guys. It's 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 the media fabricating the story that we need the ETFs for Bitcoin to go to a million dollars. We need like really? I don't think so. Like if we if we boycotted the ETFs, if the ETFs got approved at any point in time and everybody just boycotted them and didn't participate in them. Bitcoin's still going to go to a million dollars. It's still going to go to $10 million. And one day it'll go to $100 million. People don't talk about that, but it, in, inevitably it will. Probably not in my lifetime. Maybe in my lifetime. Like, like man, I'm not going to say how old I am, but I've got a lot of time left on this earth. At least I think I do. I think I've got at least in me, at least like more than 70 years left on this earth. I plan on being over 100 years old, man. Um, but that's, that's neither here nor there. What, what I'm trying to say is, it could happen. We could see a $100 million Bitcoin in in that amount of time, but maybe we don't. But inevitably, Bitcoin will reach $100 million. It's going to inevitably reach $10 million. It's going to inevitably reach $1 million with or without that ETF. We don't need the ETF. And that's exactly why price is going to continue to rise after the negative news comes out, because it doesn't really matter. There's already other ETFs lined up that are going to be the next hope for, for all these people, right? Like, and the ETFs probably won't get approved until till either later this year or 2025 is really what I'm thinking. Because what's happening is, and somebody said this, I don't know if I said this already, I'm going on a whole bunch of tangents, but somebody said this, that, that it's illegal to acquire the underlying asset um, if, if you're trying to establish an ETF. And I looked into that and that's a lie, that's actually not true. You, you, it's very common actually. It's not required that you buy the underlying asset, you don't have to, but it's very common to acquire the underlying asset of the exchange traded fund that you're trying to set up, right? Um, it's very uncommon that you don't. Um, before they're approved, whatever, like, you know, like that just wouldn't make sense. That'd be like Grayscale wants to make their GBTC into an ETF, but they acquired it before it's an ETF and before it was approved, like would, wouldn't that be illegal? No, it's not illegal, it's, it's totally legal. In fact, it's normal. It's very normal for these big institutions when they file for ETFs and they, they, they apply for them, that they acquire the underlying asset at cheaper prices. And then when they release the ETF, when they make it public, it's at much more expensive prices. Why? So that when they sell it to you, you're, you're buying it at the highs, right? Which all ties into this idea that it's not going to be till the end of the bull market that the ETFs get approved. 
because these companies want to acquire Bitcoin at lower prices. They want to acquire these grayscale trusts, these mining company stocks. They want to acquire all of it at cheaper prices. And then whenever the good news happens, that's when we're really screwed. That's when we're at the end of the bull market, guys. When the ETFs are getting approved, and, and I'm, I'm curious because I believe that when they get approved, it's going to be some time after, but not sh not too long after that they get listed. Approved is different than listed. Approved does not mean it's available for the public yet. But will it be a day after approval? Will it be a week? Will it be a month? I don't know. But sometime approval doesn't necessarily mean we're turning around yet. But when the ETFs are listed, that's really when, when we're probably at our highs, like near our highs, if not at our highs, like within a month from our highs probably, if not literally directly at them. So... So again, leading to the fact of why we don't need the ETFs, okay, we're going to go up without them. When we get the ETFs approved, it's actually probably going to be very bad for the price. In the long term, it'll be good for the price, right? Another avenue for big money to come on as if the big money couldn't find their way to crypto even without that avenue. If they really want it, they can and, and they will eventually. We don't need the ETF for them to, to figure it out. Um, there's already, I mean, Michael, Michael Saylor, man, with MicroStrategy multiple billions of dollars invested in Bitcoin. That's institutional money right there. Multiple billions of dollars from a financial institution. I mean, it's not a bank, but it's it's a publicly traded company that's worth multiple billion dollars in itself. Like, do you, like you're telling me that these guys who are interested in, in getting the crypto ETFs going, that they're not buying it up right now and that they're not going to want to buy up as much as they can before the ETFs are actually approved? Because they know that once the ETFs are approved that the price is going to go up. Man, I'm, I'm going on a whole tangent here. What, what I'm trying to say is just the same thing I'm saying all in all, guys, is that I don't think it's going to get approved. I think that we are going to figure this out as to the evidence in the charts as to, as to how the news is going to be. If we go down over the next week, we know that the ETFs are getting, they're getting denied. If we go up, we know they're getting approved. It's simple as that. And with that, I leave you. So if you like the video, if you like the Christmas tree, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And thank you for hearing me rant. They're not getting approved. That's, that's my genuine opinion. You know, I, I don't remember if I said this either, but, but I'm going to end it with this. It's odd to me. It's very odd to me that everybody and their mother and their grandmother knows that the ETFs are getting approved. We've got people, most of the people who believe that the ETFs are getting approved are people who are new in crypto. You have a bunch of people who are new in crypto who are going to get the answer right. That doesn't make sense to me, man. That's not how it happens. Markets are made to take most money away from most people most of the time. And there are a lot of OGs in the space who expect the ETFs to get passed as well. But this media thing, man, it affects all of us. To think that any of us are, uh, are completely away from the ideas of herd mentality, most of the time, you know, I like to think that I am. But inevitably, there's going to be times where you fall for it. There's a time where I thought the ETFs were going to get approved too. But I drank my, I drank my crazy Kool-Aid here and I, I came back to reality. Um, they're not getting approved, man. It wouldn't make sense. It really wouldn't make sense. Because they're acquiring Bitcoin right now. When they when they list the ETF, they're going to stop acquiring Bitcoin. They're going to sell their ETFs to you. They're going to stockpile their Bitcoins. They're going to sell the ETFs to you, use that money, sit on it, wait for the price of Bitcoin to go down, and then reinvest it back into Bitcoin. Um, and then while you're buying the paper asset, they're buying the real asset, you know. Uh, at least that's my thought. But that, again, again, I just I very much don't believe that the ETFs are going to get approved until the end of the market. And I'm, I'm just repeating myself. So with that, I leave you. Bye-bye. Take care.